Yo, what's up lads and ladies? Uh, it's like 9pm, um, and the patch notes for Minar Forest have dropped, so we're just going to go over them and look at some of the important bits, um, and see what's really cool. Uh, first of all, Grand Fanium, this is for lore nerds. Uh, this new one is about the uh, Carcian. you can replay the story from the new 285 area, um, as other classes, things like that, you can like read back on it if you ever want to. Um, Sephiroth's Gardener. Um, if I remember correctly, this is in regards to Darmore's um, backstory, so this is really cool. Um, I would recommend doing this um, if you know who Aaron is, um, and then there's other bits and bobs. Um, this is kind of cool. <laughs> I'm going to do that. I think that's cool anyway. Um, quest improvements. Um, they changed a lot of stuff to do with um, uh, Grand Fanium. Uh, and they've also changed the Gate to the Future. Now, this is Future Pyrian, Future Henesis, um, all of that stuff. There's a bunch of stuff changed here, um, which is cool. Uh, they changed the quest. They basically made, like, Lucid uh, more prominent in the story. If you want to redo that and just see, like, the whole, like, dream saga and stuff like that. Um, they've changed some stuff to do with the Sengoku-era job advancement quests. Um, so, basically, currently, Hayato and Kana have a bunch of required quests that you have to do um, to job advance. So they've removed those quests being required. Um, they've then improved some stuff with the tutorial. Uh, they've improved some of the NPC, the shops. Um, there's now some quality of life. Hayato can now move to Momiji Kalka without wearing equipment during the tutorial quest. Cool. Um, there's some other bits and bobs. Um, they added a bunch of extra story quests to Carcian. Um, just about the like actual Carcian story. Uh, very nice, very nice. Uh, boss changes. Uh, this is an important one. Uh, certain bosses will now be summoned after a set amount of time when you enter. Um, so essentially, they've added a spawn delay to every single boss. I believe this applies to every single phase as well. Um, I hope so, at least. Um, but for example, say you enter uh, Dark Knell, he won't instantly land and then like jump up and slam you on the floor. Um, Seren, she won't like laser as soon as you spawn in, or you won't spawn in, get bananaed. Um, and then just die. Um, Kalos won't like smash on the floor as soon as you spawn in, kick you out of your roar, um, stuff like that. That's quite cool. Uh, will uh, HP will be refreshed more often in phase one? Basically, when they removed the timing mechanic for will phase P1, it checks in the background every time to see the HP. Um, so this basically increases the uh, the HP check, I believe. Uh, Pink Bean and Cygnus Knight now have. Um, no more exit maps. You'll know if you do Pink Bean or, uh, uh, what's it called? <laughs> Horntail currently, uh, or Sickness. Uh, you'll leave the map, you'll kill the boss, leave the map, um, and appear in another map, and then leave that map and go into a third map. They've removed the middle map, um, so it's like every other boss where you kill the boss, you come out and you leave. Very nice. Um, Horntail teleports. You will now ho teleport directly to Horntail instead of having to go through that first map with the lady in the cage, um, and then another map. And then another map. So this is a lot better. Um, Ran Maru. Uh, the defeat count. You now only have three lives instead of five. Um, the skills have been changed. The flame summoned by the Inferno Spirit Walker no longer applies a bind skill. Um, and when using the portal from the Mar Man Maru boss fight, it will lead to the entry map. Basically, you'll be able to leave better. Uh, Gollux. This is an important one. Uh, the screen display area has been changed to be based on the areas that can be moved to. Um, which I think is like the portals. Uh, certain portal teleportation locations have been changed. Uh, when entering the Golux boss battle through the UI, um, you will return to the map you were at when you use the exit portal, which is very nice. Uh, the foot will now appear right away without a separate animation in the Golux boss fight starting map. Um, and the portal on the foot is marked uh, in the Golux starting map. Um, so there's like a ladder you can climb up um, and then go through like the foot and go through his leg up the top. Um, so now I guess that's just like marked more correctly. Very nice. Uh, NPC changes. Uh, you will now long, no longer get a fee every time you try and use storage. <laughs> um, and then they fixed a couple maps uh, for like decorative items, uh, like looking stuff, uh, characters being visible in various places, like very cool stuff. Uh, item changes. Uh, they've changed a bunch of tooltip descriptions for a bunch of like items, uh, mixed dye, all that stuff. This is basically a bunch of like uh, quality of life stuff. Um, this one, the following consumables will now be stacked up to 10,000 or 9,999. Uh, elixirs, milks, dews, uh, all cures, mystical cubes, all that stuff will now stack to uh, 10,000. 
Um, and then, so this is the UI. This is a new change. This is the character UI. Uh, so currently, when I look at my character, uh, we get this screen, right? This little, like, uh, black and white item. I can scroll through, like, my equips. I can't see anything in detail. Um, the new version um, will have all a bunch of new different stats. So way more stats, like monster damage, cooldown, all that stuff. Bonus EXP. Um, and broken down in a much better fashion. Um, you can now also see all of the skills um, of another character. So all their fifth job and sixth job. The equipment. So you can see all of their items that they are currently wearing. Um, you all their link skills. All their stats. All their decoration, which is their cash top. Um, what um, pets they're using. Everything. Um, you can now see so much stuff on the characters, which is really nice. Um, there is a new stat uh, called Combat Power. Uh, which is a fixed number. Um, that can be used to easily compare and contrast between growth of characters. When we get this in game, you'll see this. Um, but it's a number, which is like, I don't know, like a few million per each character to like gauge how strong you are. This is really interesting. I'm I'm a big fan of this. Um, some people might not like the like design of the new UI, but I think it looks really good, much more modern, because um, the current one is quite dated. Uh, they've also changed a bunch of like general UI stuff, things like that. Uh, guild changes. This is really important. So the lap, uh, flag race, um, has now become one lap. Um, so the timing is much tighter based on points because it's one lap. Um, so you can see all the notations of the timing, uh, for each map. Um, there is a scarecrow that has been added into culvert. Um, so classes that have stacking mechanics, like for example, my dawn warrior, um, I build cosmic orbs by hitting something. This way, I can build cosmic orbs outside of the map. Um, I don't know any other... Like, you could build relic gauge on the scarecrow outside of the map. That kind of stuff, right? AFK mob is trying to kill me. Um, yeah, very cool. Uh, there's a retry function for culvert, which means you won't lose your buffs. Uh, you do have to wait for your cooldowns still, so keep that in mind. Um, and then the Nobly's guild skill buff effect no longer disappears even when logging out and back in. So this means that if you DC after you pop your guild skills, um, you won't lose your guild skills. Remember, the duration still counts down while logged out. Um, and I don't believe that, I, don't th I think the cooldown won't go down either. So that's quite important. Um, profession changes. There's a complete revamp to the profession system. Um, there is no longer um, decaying experience when you're at Meister rank. So for example, I am a Meister alchemist. Uh, currently, I have 700,000 points. Um, those points will be completely irrelevant after this change because you don't need to upkeep your mastery to keep your rank. Um, you will get more fatigue as well, um, but your fatigue will not regenerate um, over the day. So you can get around that by using espressos from the home system. Um, but this is very nice. They also removed the cooldown on a lot of items and they made a lot of items cheaper as well. So you can craft more of them um, and they get rid of the cooldown. Uh, monster life changes. This isn't really important to me because um, I don't play interactive anymore. Um, but there is some changes to monster life as well. This is a precursor to the Legion artifact change, uh, which is coming soon in Dreamer. Uh, potential changes. HP has been upgraded uh, to be the same tier as every other potential in the game. <laughs> um, so legendary on uh, like Absos and like Arcanes, Eternals. Um, has been changed to max or match uh, the rest of the uh, the crew, I guess. Uh, very nice. There is some balancing changes, but these are more bug fixes than balancing, um, as far as I'm aware. Um, I don't know if it's in here, the Dawn Warrior one. Uh, no, this is just a couple origin skills and things. Um, this is Blaze Wizard is now... Wow, Orbital Explosion is now unaffected by Attack Reflection. Wow. And there's some Aaron stuff here. Uh, Demon Slayer, the window when Neverworld Judgment can be activated after manifesting the demon's territory has been decreased by 60%. Wow. Wow. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Trick Blade. Uh, Kana, if the player dies while using Domain, a Spirit Stone will be resummoned upon revival. Uh, buff will not be reapplied until reviving. The duration is still consumed when dead. Uh, the Yuki skill icon can be removed by right-clicking. Um, the max attack, ma new max magic attack from the Blessing of the Five Elements is limited to 200. Um, I think that's the, f like, magic attack passive. Blessing of the Five Elements is a passive that gives one magic attack per 700 health. Uh, the current specification has no limitations to the max attack. 
uh, which in turn may cause unintended differences with other classes. So they limited it. Okay. Uh, Hayato has quick draw stance is now maintained. Yes! Oh, dude. When you die in bossing, you have to turn your stance back on. So annoying. That's really good. That's really good. Big fan of that. Uh, Minar Picnic. Uh, we're going to do a big pass on the Minar Picnic when it comes out um, of all of the stuff. So I'll, I'll briefly go over this. Uh, but there's a check-in. Uh, a bunch of stuff daily. Kill monsters every day. You get so much stuff from this. Um, Halfling Treasure Hunt. This is the gambling thing. Uh, where you like give them lunch boxes. Um, and they will get various items. Uh, the Pinwheel Play Sliding. I think this is the event buff. I think. Uh, yeah, power up your training. Uh, once more flower viewing. This is for the bracelet, which also gives you uh, some items and stuff, I think. Uh, Forest Blast is the party quest, uh, which we will go over. Um, there's some cool stuff you can get from the party quest, like outfits. Uh, Drop the Acorn is a Punch King. Um, yeah, there's the bracelet, the make bracelet, this one on the 17th. Mm -mm -mm. And then this is the coin shop. The, the, the big call out from here is the VIPs, the 2x and the 3x. This is super good for me. Um, there's a bunch of cosmetics. Not really a fan of this damage skin, personally. Um, but, you know, each their own. And this is the Minar damage skin selector box. So you can pick out of these. I don't think any of these are unit skins. I don't believe they are. Yeah. And then yellow maple leaf store. This is the bossing shop. Um, which, again, this is all the bosses you can do um, to get various, like, rewards. Very nice, very nice. Extreme calling, like what? <laughs> um, this is a event for the new Grand Ophanium story. You just get like a cute chair um, if you finish it. Uh, Tinkerer's chest, this is for reg server uh, because Marvel Machine, um, so you can open your chests. Uh, Fairy Bros Golden Giveaway, we currently have this going on, so I don't feel the need to go over this, um, but this is currently happening in game. Um, and then that's the reward track. Now, these are the Sunny Sundays, right. Um, so these are kind of... I just died in-game. Whoops. Do I have any safety charms? Uh, no. <laughs> Rip. Uh, so these are the Sunny Sundays. Uh, our first one is a plus, two, plus one up to ten. Uh, March 31st is Monster Collection 2x Polo Frito. Uh, very nice. Uh, the seventh is a 30% off. 30% off is a scam, IMO. 50% uh, off Trace, 50% off IA, 5% Mag Souls. Okay, Mag Souls is quite nice. Um, and then the 21st is a Grinding with Monster Park. And then a 5, 10, 15 on the 28th. Um, I'm probably not going to do either of these uh, 5, 10, 15 or this 30% off. Um, I don't know, I'm just going to save for Dreamer. Um, and then a Spell Trace Fever. Again, this is for Interactive Server, um, so I'm not really interested in that. Um, and then some bug fixes. There is a lot of bug fixes. <laughs> there is a lot of bug fixes. There is a lot of bug fixes. <laughs> uh, there is a lot of bug fixes, dude. <laughs> this just keeps going, eh? Oh my god. Uh, other bug fixes. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, okay, so yeah, there's a lot of bug fixes at the end. Um, if there's anything uh, that you want to see in the bug fixes, have a look. I will link the uh, patch notes in the bottom. Uh, what I am going to look for, though, is to see... Because there was something I was aware of with Dawn Warrior that may or may not be in these bug fixes. Uh, Dawn Warrior. Dawn Warrior, yes. Uh, fixed in instances of Cosmic's orbs not being released uh, when cancelling a previous skill of Equinox Slash uh, when the Cosmic Burst is on auto mode. Uh, fixed instances of Dawn Warrior's uh, Flare Slash not activating uh, when used right before hanging on a ladder or rope. I'm going to see if I can show this... Uh, in game just to give like an idea of what that actually means um but essentially when i when i jump and then i flash jump right i get flare slash if i get on the ladder like fast enough it will ca cancel flare slash um so this is basically just a little quality of life fix to uh help with grinding i guess i'll see if i can do it now i flash jump and then i can't get on the ladder because it's like weird to show uh, but that's basically what that is. There's a bunch of these little, like, fixes for a lot of different classes based on these bug fixes. Um, so I would recommend if you play a class <laughs> um, to go through um, the bug fixes at the bottom and see if your class is mentioned um, because it might have a bug fix. Uh, so keep an eye out for that. Um, and yeah, that's about it. Uh, patches tomorrow uh, for, like, seven hours. <laughs> 
Um, so I'll probably pre-make a Minar video during that patch. Um, and then we'll uh, put the finishing touches when it goes live and post it. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully this helps, because if you don't want to read the patch notes and we just go over bits and bobs. And uh, have a good night. Bye-bye. Mm,